Welcome to create a game in Unity. As you can see, what just happened there, you can see the ball even going around. We are able to to just cause an explosion there using physics. Now, what I am going to do here is I'm going to show you guys how to put one of these together. So I'm going to start a new project in Tarling. So let's end this and I, I'm going to come right here. Let's create, first of all, let's save this and uh, we'll create a new, new scene. So we we'll say create. And first of all, right click on the hierarchy area. Or you can drop this down, just select 3D object. I'm going to select plane. And I'm gonna make the size of that about 50 by 1 and by 50. There we go. Now, the next thing we want to do is I'm gonna create an empty game object. I'll just call that box. And right click again, let's create cubes. And that very cube, let me change the size of it to 2 by 2 by 2. Bring it up a little bit. And scroll right down inside the inspector here. Let's add rigid body for physics. There we go. So we've added a rigid body to it. Now, the next thing we want to do is to change the color of this and let me show you guys the lines of code I'm going to be using right here so I'm going to select that and just open it up so that you guys see the lines of code alright and right up here are the colors that I will be fading in between white and red you can change it to whatever color you want and the next one is the speed with which the fading will take we take effect now here that is where I'm actually calling the renderer and right underneath here that is where I actually ask the system to change the colors and the colors are applied using uh, the function update so have another good look at the lines of code just take it from the top there Okay, so I'm going to bring it down so that you can see it properly. And that is it. So let's save that and go straight back into our editor. Now, once the editor finished compiling, I'll just drag the lines of code, place it straight onto the cube. Let's see, it's clear. There we go. Now grab it and just dump it on the cube. If I run it now, let's make sure the camera is in position. If I run it now, what you guys will see is just the cube changing color. So let's run it and you see what I'm talking about. There we go. Look at that. It's going to change to white. Okay, you see it fade back to red and so on. All right, that is done. Now, I'm going to paste the cube right inside the empty game object that was created and this very cube I'm gonna drag it right down or let's give it a name anyway cube fade okay so let's just say yeah that's fine now I'm gonna drag it and convert it to a prefab there that is it right there so now that I've created my prefab I will now drag the prefab just paste it right in there the cube fade okay you can copy as many as you like and just paste it in there so that's the first one so I'm gonna select both make sure that is inside right click create a duplicate there we have another one and select it all create another duplicate control D and so forth so I'm gonna create more control D let's place that one on top alright so that is 
let's just create one more control D or create a duplicate and just drag it right here there so the other thing is we need to change each of these cubes look at them you see the color there so I'm going to just change the colors because if I run it now all you just see is white and red color changing there I don't want that I want you to be able to fade into different colors but before then let's collapse this right click on the hierarchy area go to 3d and I'm going to select sphere and now very sphere let's change the size of it to about maybe 4 by 4 by 4 let's make it a little bit big and I will then apply rigid body to it if you like you can also change the color of this uh, ball or fair that I just added you can just add color to it come right down here drag the color dump it on it okay rigid body is already added to it so I'm going to now move it right inside so what will happen is if you it will simulate something to do with explosion so let's run it and you see what I'm talking about look at that you see that that is because I just added that ball so let me reposition everything just drag it and that one uh, first of all I need to see my camera properly okay let's reposition it and it's a little bit too close so run it one more time let's see there we go look at that now that that is done let's do one more thing so each of this cube select it come right here change the color there so I've changed that I'm gonna change these other ones make that green and so on so I'm gonna repeat the same thing for all other ones here that's blue change this sky blue I just want to give it a different appearance run let's see there we go look at the ones that I changed so now that you guys know how to change the color so I'm going to speed that up and get back to you shortly okay guys I've finished changing the color of the cubes so all you need to do is just click here select whatever color you want and that's it done all right so that is good enough for me the next thing i want to do now is i'm going to go back to my project you see the sphere there that is it right there okay i can always take off the the mesh render render of the sphere so all you just need to do is to uncheck it and the user will not be you no one will see the the sphere itself all you just see is as a big bang explosion and you will see the the scattering of the crates and that's it and one other thing that we're going to do is let's add okay let's right click up here come in here create material and in the material i'm just going to type in a background color change yeah bg color change there we go now make sure it is selected come right up here and let's select something now more or less change the color of the background grab it drop it in there now the next thing is i'm going to add a sky box so let's go straight into the windows forms oh, yeah windows and let's click on render lighting and i'm going to select environment click on this little icon there so let's look for one of these maybe grab hold of this there we go sky five and there so for you guys to be able to see the colors uh, the sky color sky itself all you need to do is go to windows and let's select package manager enter color sky skies in there Okay, and there we go you download that it's only about 36 megabyte then the other thing that uh, 
I use is explosion explosive that's the explosives for the firework and I'm going to also use sky there we go so you just download any of those now come right here for the smoke double click on the smoke I'm going to drag this just dump it here somewhere so I'm going to make sure you set the property to play on a wake there we go make sure it's play on a wake so the duration is five I'm going to leave it as five so I will add as many maybe one or two more for the smoke they will all be play on a wake then the next one is the explosives this I think is right here that is it so that will simulate fire maybe one or two more so if I run it now this is what you guys will see so it's all about using physics and collider look at that guys so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this brief tutorial I suppose you enjoy it and you all have a nice day and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel a lot of benefit guys have a nice one and bye for now